Hello, welcome to Access. I'm Rob. Joining us is Dave. Hello. And we're back. Back. In the helicopter with Take On Me playing as we land in the desert, Dave. It's the only way I'll travel in Metal Gear. It should be. It's the best way to travel. Uh, today, we're talking about things you can Fulton, Dave. Yeah. Eight things that you should Fulton. Surely one of the best gameplay mechanics that's ever been in, in, put into any game ever. I know. Putting a balloon on a thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Having it just whiz off All I into the do. sky. Oh, but also, just look at that lovely sky. First things first, anyway, Dave. Uh, we're going to get rid of D-Horse. Okay. Because he's not the best buddy for this kind of thing, and I'll, I'll explain why. I also wanted to show you how you can call in another buddy. Please select so we want D-Dog for this. Right. Say, okay, you can go over there. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this isn't one of the entries, by the way. D horse doesn't count. That's just a little extra one. Just, just showing you what you can do. So if you change your mind before each mission, you get to pick your loadout. Um, but based on what situations arise during your free roam of Afghanistan, you may wish to change your mind, and you can have anything <laughs> drop in from Mother Base, including a dog with an eye patch. Perfect. And the reason we've got D-Dog is because D-Dog can sniff out stuff. So we can sniff out wildlife. See, D-Dog found wild animal. He sniffed out a sheep for us, Dave. Straight away. Yeah, he can also sniff out uh, enemy soldiers as well. So this is his special you don't skill. Have to mark them, yeah. So the first thing we're going to fault in Dave classic style is this ninja sheep <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say like that was uh, he evaded you look at him look at him just quite quickly evading I mean, surely this time oh sure. my goodness me Rob miss oh miss oh look at him go ninja sheep I'm pretty sure I did hit him though with one of them so he should fall asleep in a minute yeah there we go okay he's asleep now he's making a mockery of you we've got the ninja sheep so anyway the first thing and he can go back to my zoo remember the zoo day I do yeah from the uh, the mother base video Look at him. Oh God, it's <laughs> just ridiculous. It's the best thing. Bye. It's so they'll never get tired of that. See you on Mother Base. That's amazing. And anyway, next up, uh, we've got soldiers. Classic. There's lots of reasons you would have fought in a soldier, though, Dave. One is obviously to recruit them, and they can go into one of your many teams. This guy's not very skilled. Look at his skill set. D E E E. D E. He is a layabout. Rubbish. He's useless. He's just sitting there. Should be guarding that thing. I don't know what that is. A big hollow wall. But instead he's looking the wrong way. It's just a giant bunker. He is useless. I, I hope you're not recruiting him, Rob. I might fault on him just to show you how it how it's done. Okay. But anyway, that's one reason you would fault on a guard. Another reason obviously is it be because when you're sneaking around and you put enemies to sleep. You have to dispose of the body somehow, like you can put it in a toilet, you can put it in a dumpster. Right. But obviously faultoning them is a much cleaner that's, way that's of getting rid of the evidence that you've been putting people to sleep. Putting them in the, the sky. That was and a then shot though, right? on a on a ship far away it was a nice, nice shot. Yeah. shot. Also, it can be used as a distraction tactic, but I'll show you that in a second. I'm pretty sure the ninja sheep had a higher skill set than this man. Yeah. So. Rubbish, sleeping idiot man. Get backed to mother base <laughs> off he goes off he goes uh, but as I said Dave if you're in an area where there are many guards around you yeah. have to be careful when you're faltoning because obviously they'll, they're going to notice one of their comrades dangling in the air on a balloon yes oh god just like that I mean what would you think what would you think if you just saw that I would think I'm going to go inside damn they say they're radioing in now look so they, they don't, didn't see you, they just saw him. Yeah. So it can be used to attract Somebody to got an area pulled or... away by a balloon. Yeah, you can essentially use it as a distraction, if you like. And then, obviously, you can upgrade your Fulton and extract bigger and more exciting things. So you can extract this Jeep. If you want to be really <laughs> clever, you can fill the Jeep with soldiers. So you can extract... That is clever. Like, did, did you put that man in there, then? I did. Put him to sleep, put him in the Jeep. And I've got a double prize. That is brilliant. He's going to wake up and be so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's astonishing he doesn't fall out of the Jeep as it gets lit in the air. <laughs> so that's number three. Number four, uh, anti-aircraft oh, guns. Oh, yes. Yes. Obviously, this has strategic importance because not only are you recruiting this to your forward operating base, you're also 
preventing enemies from using it against you. If you want to call in some air support, for instance, there's now no anti-aircraft gun there. That's so brilliant. Good I, dog. I, and do you? Because uh, there's a cost, isn't there, to faulting things? Yes. Do, do you? Do you ever feel like, you know, did you feel like there's enough of the currency that you need to do it? Well, like, do, was it ever a like? Oh, I'm not sure I can afford to. That was a. Why did you say that just then, Dave? Listen to this. GMP in the red. In the red. There you go. It's like I knew. <laughs> you knew that was going to happen. Anyway, that's the next thing you have to fault in. A big truck. How do you earn GMP, Rob? You earn GMP by uh, collecting. You can collect rough diamonds. You can also sell materials and resources as well. A container? A container full, full of materials. Oh, that's that's good. That's brilliant. So Look we've got at loads it go. of metal, and off it goes. I love this so much. I can and also, see. doing that just changes the shape of this base. Yeah. Like, if I want to infiltrate a certain area, I now can't hide behind that crate, or it could open up a new pathway. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> Next on my list, Dave. Bear. <laughs> I'm not sure. Not sure about this, This Rob. is the very same bear that was in my zoo, Dave, if you yeah. remember. And this is how I got him. Oh, go on, bear. He's not even oh, very aggressive. I know he's not going to escape. I'm sort of willing him to. I don't know. It's because I see where he ends up. In a cage. On an oil tanker. Yeah. An oil rig, even. I mean, what a sad life for a bear. He's doing his best to get home. He just wants to be left in peace, Dave. Not going to happen. He'll no. be peaceful in a minute. Unfortunately not. There we go. And off he goes into the sky. Look at D-Dog. He looks great, doesn't he? He does indeed. Well, I don't really need him to sniff out any more animals, so <laughs> <laughs> D-Dog can have a fun ride Straight back to away. other base. Whee. I don't think he was expecting that. And now we can extract our lovely bear. See, he's happy. He's That's not happy amazing. at all, is he? <laughs> so you have to you have to upgrade the uh, Fulton to carry bigger things. Yes, you do. Okay, that's good. Uh, here we are. This is the final entry, Dave. This oh, is yes. like the big catch. I mean, this is hard because it's surrounded by three guards. Yeah. So, like, you know, how how am I going to extract this thing? I love that. I put a tranquilizer die in each of these men. How did you do that? I put it in their chests so that they'd all fall asleep like later. Later on. So That's wouldn't... brilliant. But the tank beeps its horn and wakes them no all up. No way! That's amazing. So the guy in the tank's so like, why are you all asleep? Yeah, I love that he's <laughs> beeped the horn to wake them up. That's amazing. That's so good. So we're going to have to go in lethal, unfortunately. That is the only way I think I'm going to be able to get rid of these guys. Ooh, that is a good shot. He's noticed. I'm going to have to do this quickly. Oh, missed. He's down. That's two. Uh, the tank's, the tank's turret going is swinging. Round. The tank is what is going on. Dangerously. Oh, no. Oh, no. God. <laughs> Bad things have happened. We are in trouble here now. I'm going to be very impressed if you can pull this off. Okay, so that's, well. He's not quite he's taken down. care of. He's down. He's down, he's but not, not happy. Out. Right. Okay, now it's just a small matter of a tank firing its massive gun at us. Yeah, easy. Like you've gone <laughs> gone back to the uh, silenced tranquilizer pistol there. <laughs> That'll take on the tank. Yeah. Ooh, smoke grenade. Now, I like this, Rob. Nice tactic. In other Metal Gear games, I've never used a smoke grenade before, Dave, ever. Yeah. Because they're just not useful. But in this massive open world context, when getting from one place to another without being seen if you're under enemy fire, no, I just managed to get behind the tank. Gotcha. It's absolutely brilliant that you don't have to disable the tank yeah. to be able to take it just away. Just have like, to get it now. <laughs> like that driver is in that tank. <laughs> Why? Uh, <yeah>. Why? <laughs> Why can't I move? Time to start my new life. <laughs> anyway, there are eight things you can fault in, Dave. That is brilliant. I can't wait to fault on everything. I know, it's amazing. You could just take everything off the map eventually. You like, could. You know, after just leave hours and hours. a barren and hours. wasteland of just buildings. Yeah, that would you be can't amazing. Bolton buildings. Uh, but anyway, I hope you're enjoying Metal Gear. If you've got the game already, comment, let us know what you think of the game. Like this video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe because we've still got loads more coming up.